Hello, everyone. So today we are having a question. Let's read out a hammer weighing one kg. This is actually the mass of the hammer. So let's write it down. M is equals to one kg. A hammer weighing one kg with a speed of and it is moving with a speed of 10 meter per second strikes the head of the nail, driving it into 10 centimeter into the wall. OK, so this 10 centimeter, 10 meter per second is actually the initial velocity. OK. A hammer weighing one kg moving with a speed of 10 meter per second strikes the head of the nail driving into 10 centimeter into the wall. So you can see the final velocity must be zero because initial velocity is 10 meter per second. And after the hammer uh, strikes the nail, it is driven into the wall 10 centimeter inside it, right? So the final velocity ultimately is supposed to be zero, right? And now you need to consider this 10 centimeter actually the displacement done by the nail. So we can write down S is equals to 10 centimeter. You also know centimeter is not the SI unit. So what we need to do, we need to change this centimeter into the meter. And how to do that? We all know that, divide by 100. So this is coming out to be 0 0.1 meter, right? So these are the things we have written. These are the things that is given to us. Now what we need to calculate is the acceleration. So let's calculate one by one. First of all, we need to calculate the acceleration. This is the first part of the question. Try to use your brain. We need to find out the acceleration in the first part. And what is given? Initial velocity, final velocity, displacement is given. Yes, you got it. This is the third equation of motion. I hope you can recall V square minus U square is equals to 2AS. This is the third equation of motion. We need to put the values and ultimately after putting the values, segregating it and we get like this. 2s is equals to a. This is the formula for acceleration. We just need to put the value and we will have the acceleration. Let's do it. a is equals to v square, v is 0 minus u square, that is 10 square upon 2s. s is the displacement, that is 0 0.1, right? So let's do it. So this is coming out to be 0, is coming out to be 0. So this is minus 100, 0 0.2, correct? So if I remove the point, this will be 10, 2 5 ja, 10. So it is coming out to minus 500 meter per second square. Why it is coming out to be negative? Because this is the acceleration or the negative acceleration. Because after this, the body stops, the nail stops, right? So the first part is already clear. In the second part, what we need to do, let me change the color because this is the second part. Uh, yeah, the second part of the question. They are saying the time interval of the impact. So acceleration is given initial velocity is given final velocity is given you need to calculate the time period time uh, time of the in, time interval of the impact right so you can recall there is an equation called first equation of motion v is equals to u plus at apply it v is 0 u what is u you can see u is 10 plus acceleration we have just calculated minus 500 and time is what we need to find out right so minus 100 minus 10 is equals to minus 500 t if i remove we can cancel out minus the minus so ultimately 10 upon 500 this is t is equals to 1 upon 50 so this is coming out to be you can write it like this okay so 1 upon 5 is 0 0.2 divide by 2 10 i hope you can see this 10 no you can't see don't worry let me write it somewhere else this is 0 0.2 upon 10 and it is coming out to be 0 0.02 second. This is a very small time. We all know that in impulse, the time is back, time is very small, right? So T is coming out to be 0 0.02 second. In the third part of the question, there is another third part. In this third part of the question, you can see what we need to find out. We need to find out the impulse. And you know, there are many formulas, not many. I need to say that there are two formulas. Impulse is equals to force into time. This is the first formula. And another formula is impulse is equals to uh, mass V minus U. That is change in momentum, right? So you can choose any form, any one formula. Uh, we are going to use this last one. Impulse is what we need to calculate. Impulse mass is given. It is 1 kg. Uh, v, what is V? It is 0. U, it is 10. So you can see. It is coming out to be minus 10 Newton second. Is it okay? Because Newton second is the SI unit of impulse. Instead of Newton second, you can also apply kg meters 
meter per second, right? So both have the same value, same magnitude. So impulse is coming out to minus 10 newton per second. Newton, not per second. Most of the students do this Newton per second. No, this is not Newton per second. This is Newton second. I hope it is quite clear to you. Thank you very much.